G'day, welcome back. Uh, so today, a bit of a follow-on from the Mondeo audio upgrade. Um, you didn't see it, the Mondeo upgraded the factory speakers to some Alpine components and coaxials, left the factory head unit. And now I've also, on the Ford Focus, which has the exact same head unit, the Ford 6000 CD, uh, I've upgraded the head unit, but left the factory speakers. So, <clears throat> They're fairly similar cars, with the same stereo, very similar speakers. Mondeo is slightly larger, but we should still be able to do a good comparison as to which is the best bang for buck upgrade. Whether new speakers, new head unit. Pros and cons of both, which is the best value? And there we go. Uh, so, <laughs> just been reading some of the labels on this. The old stereo at the Focus. Uh, so it's great, kind of, can you see that? So it's a six CD slash tape, single CD. So they kind of get your hopes up down the bottom, dash them up the top. And this other great label is uh, a non-robust component, scrap if dropped. Whoa, almost had to scrap it. But yeah, nothing there was nothing wrong with it as such. Uh, the Focus, we just, well, both cars, you've just got the CD, the tuner, and a line in. In the Mondeo, we've also got the steering wheel buttons, the dash integration, and Bluetooth phone. Uh, the new unit on the Focus, no CD, no one uses CDs. We got USB, we got line in, we got Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth phone. So, better features. It's a Sony unit, I'll put the details up here. Um, got a really good deal. Pay for using my uh, YouTube money. Um, so yeah, straight to it, have a listen to both, and we'll come back with the uh, pros and cons. Right, so we'll start in the Mondeo. Uh, we got our phone plugged in, got a plug in for a cable, which is kind of annoying. And this is what it sounds like. Uh, what do I like about this setup uh, is just the clarity. The real, you get a lot of detail with these speakers. Just did a big road trip to Dunedin. You might have seen the video, um, but yeah, you really can kind of hear all the detail in the music. It does lack a bit of bottom end. Uh, what bottom end there is is quite controlled, defined, but just not enough of it. It's not really a Kim Kardashian of the uh, the bass world, bottom world, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, sounds great. Black in the bottom end, kind of annoying you've got to plug things in and it only takes CDs and line in. Uh, I was think, well, I was having to think what else I could do because you need a, a way of streaming Bluetooth music but if you stream your Bluetooth music then you can't use a Bluetooth phone so <clears throat> yeah whatever. Uh, one day I might upgrade this head unit uh, but when I do that I'll make sure I keep the integration, keep the Bluetooth audio, uh, phone. But yeah, I like I like the buttons here. You got buttons for the phone button, volume buttons. Plus, you see on the display what's going on there. <clears throat> so always you can replicate that in the aftermarket. It just costs you money and time, I suppose. But so yeah, um, <clears throat> perfectly adequate. It's loud enough. Might have a sneaky plan to get some more bass in here. Uh, works as it should. Factory integration, which is a bonus. Just limited in terms of connectivity. So that's what I think about that. Right, onto the Focus. Right, in the Focus, you see we had the same shape stereo before. Put in the blanking plate, put in our new head unit. It's a Sony one. It's got NFC connection, it's got Bluetooth, it's got USB, it's got line in, so it's got everything you need. Bluetooth audio too, well, sorry, Bluetooth phone as well. Only downside to the Bluetooth phone is uh, there's no external microphone, so the microphone's built in here. Sound quality is pretty good actually, in terms of voice calls, but um, yeah, it was a cheap unit, does everything I want, I'm quite happy with it, but yeah, let's have a listen to the to what this one sounds like. So the beauty of Bluetooth connectivity, oh.
Right, so in terms of quality, um, <clears throat> there's a lot more bottom end here, much better, much more bass. Uh, one thing you do notice is that lack of kind of definition, clarity kind of things. You can tell they're not great speakers. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, an upgrade is probably on the cars at some point. But in terms of the head unit, push it out loud music. Sounds pretty good, but I think you just get spoiled by listening to those speakers in the other car. Uh, but that said, I'll probably listen to more music in this car because it's so easy. You just kind of rock up with your phone and it and it works. Uh, so yeah, what can we say about about the two? Uh, they're kind of the differences, really. The Mondeo, where we've maintained all those factory features, all the buttons, whatever else, sounds fantastic. Uh, but yeah, it just lacks a bit of volume that any aftermarket head unit's going to give you. The focus, we've lost that factory look, which is a bit of a downside, but we've gained a lot in terms of connectivity. So the focus, it's got it's full budget spec. It's got a plastic, a rubber kind of steering wheel, got no buttons, got no trip computer or anything. Manual bits and pieces. It's even got manual rear windows. Look at that. Bet you haven't seen those for a while. Um, so yeah. Both ha happy with both solutions. Uh, ideally, if we could bring them together, that would be the best of both worlds. But what do I think is the best best upgrade? Well, it kind of depends. Really, it depends what you the reason why you're doing it. If you're looking for the best audio quality, uh, <clears throat> hands down the Mondeo. Big fan of the the clarity of, of that setup. You really pick up the detail in the music. If you just want easier connectivity, a decent bassy heavy sound, then this Sony unit, factory speakers, that's fantastic. Uh, the upgrade on both, probably pretty similar cost wise. Uh, so yeah, if I had to pick out of the two, I'd probably actually go for the Sony just because of the ease of connectivity, even though I really love the, the, the quality of the sound in, in that car. Um, but yeah, quality is great, but if you can't be bothered setting stuff up so you can listen to it, then, <clears throat> then you're not going to listen to it. So yeah, my picks, new head unit, it's the way to go. Sucks if you want to keep the factory integration, but there are ways to do it. And I think once we get some new speakers in here, maybe a subwoofer, maybe, um, then this would be a kicking system. But there we go. So I hope that was helpful to someone. Uh, someone who's trying to make a decision on where to spend the pennies. And there we go. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Well, the next one's actually going to be the install of this head unit. Uh, now my camera pooed its pants whilst I was making the first video, so the video stopped working. But we got I need to take it out to fit the radio, uh, the antenna adapter. So I'll do a kind of retrofit five minute job to install these so we'll make you a video next week and we'll go from there cheers